Hi, it's Melinda Love with Beyond Conscious Health, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a vitals scan and report from the Solex AO Scan. You may have seen me share with you the AO Scan mobile device in previous videos, but today I'm using the same software on my laptop. So the website is app.aoscan.com and you would still need that membership to be able to log into the website. But I actually didn't even know it at the time of the previous videos that I could run the scans from my laptop, which is way better for sharing the videos with you guys so you can see it better. So I was so excited to find that out. So before you choose any of these programs, which I will cover in future videos, all of them, but before you choose one, you do want to make sure your target profile is pulled up, which can either be yourself or anyone that you've made a profile for with their information. That's so it can scan the right person and send the frequencies to the right person through the quantum field. So let's go to the vital scan. And here you can choose whatever you want to scan for that day, food sensitivity, blood, chakras, gastrointestinal function, meridians, nutritional analysis, physical functionality, and toxicities. And you'll see on the report how detailed this actually is. It's so cool. So we're just going to hit scan. And right now it's scanning my energy to see if there are any imbalances in these areas. And more than likely there are on every scan I've ever done on anyone, there are always imbalances of some sort. And the really cool thing about this technology is not only does it show you what those imbalances are, but there are optimizing frequencies that are sent to you after the scan that help to balance those out. And you get to see on your report what balanced out and what didn't. And one thing to keep in mind when you look at your report is that energy is always moving. So just because something didn't balance out one time, it's not anything to be concerned about. So you may or may not hear the program making some sounds. I can hear it on my end, but that is not something that you have to listen to. It's just making some noises. So when the scan is done, you click optimize frequencies, and now you're receiving those optimizing frequencies that are helping to balance out the imbalances. And this one's a little bit louder. I actually enjoy listening to this one when it's doing it. So if I'm using my mobile device, I will have the bone conductor headset on and I love listening to this. I'm going to turn it up so you can hear it a little better. So I just turned it down a bit. So they say that you don't actually have to listen to those tones but i just enjoy it but if you are doing say a long distance scan for someone they don't actually have to hear any of it and either do you so you're still getting those frequencies i just personally enjoy listening to it it's relaxing so this part doesn't take long either. Actually, the whole vital scan and optimizing frequencies only takes about two to three minutes. So now the entire thing is done and you have your option of two reports, the enhanced report and the classic report. In my previous video, I did the enhanced report but today I'm going to show you the classic report, which I use most of the time now that I realized it's actually a little bit easier on a daily basis to reference. So if there's something that I'm questioning, I might like go look at that one thing on the enhanced report to see if it's a one or a nine, if it's something that stayed red. But I typically just look at the classic report now. So here's what your report looks like, and you can email that to yourself or your client, and I always do that. 
because Solex does not hold these scans on file, so you would need to email them to yourself if you want to keep a copy of them so that you can look back on them to see if anything is staying out of balance consistently. So here you'll see the previous scan results, which is kind of confusing, but all that means is when the program first scanned you this time, this is what came up. Red means out of balance and green is balanced. And this is the current scan, which just means after the optimizing frequencies, you can see if it balanced out or not. So this is the food sensitivities. So if something stayed out of balance, it might be a food that you want to avoid that day. I don't necessarily follow this every day, but I actually want to get into a habit of just glancing at this every day after I do my report just to see if anything was a double red that didn't come back into balance that day like this watermelon. Just avoid that for the day my body is not resonating with that food in that moment. And a lot of times if something was out of balance one day, it's right back in balance the next day. So it's really not a big deal. So as you can see, most things went right back into balance. So it's pretty incredible to see, especially when you get down into like the blood and the toxicities. But here's grains, legumes. Mm, I don't eat meat or seafood. Uh, nuts, seeds, spices. See, a lot of things go right to green, which is the most amazing part of this technology. So one thing I learned recently is that the accuracy of this scan compared to blood work is 85% match. So they tested this energetic AO scan at the same time blood was drawn and there was an 85% match, which is incredible, especially considering blood work itself admits to only being 55% accurate. And what's really interesting is that this and blood work are both just a snapshot of what's happening in that moment. An hour later, it might look completely different. So being able to have this technology to scan yourself in any moment is so valuable. And it makes you realize that just having blood work done once and then maybe going back a month or six months later and you've been working on one thing that showed up in a blood report one time that whole time and it might not have even been what you needed. So with this, you can scan yourself daily and only pay attention to those things that stay red consistently. So let's take a look here. So my blood here, triglycerides were out, they came back into balance. Um, HDL was out, it came back into balance. So that's good, you want to see the reds go to green. Double green is even better. Ferritin was red, went to green. Uh, so here is a double red. It's not something I recognize, so I don't even remember it ever coming up on a report before. I can click on it. So as you can see, you can get a little bit more information if you don't know what you're looking at. But again, it's not something I'm going to look into or try to do anything about unless I see this double red come up for this multiple times. So I haven't started this yet, but I'm thinking of maybe keeping some sort of spreadsheet when something double red comes up, I will put it in the spreadsheet and the date and then keep track if it comes up more than that. But honestly, some days I just run the scan, get the optimizing frequencies, email the report to myself and go on with my day. Like I said before, sometimes I look at the food sensitivities to see if there's any foods I want to avoid that day. Okay, so here are fatty acids. Three were out of balance and came back in. Everything came back in balance here, so that's great. So here are the chakras. Blue means low, green is normal, and red is high. So as you see, I had three chakras that were low. Most of them balanced out. 
except the heart chakra, which actually doesn't surprise me. I recently went to an event that my friend Alex did, and she did a mini Reiki chakra alignment, and my heart was out then too. So an area that I do need some work on. There is meditation and breath work I can do to help with the heart and other techniques, but there is also something in the Cephi program called the quantum chakras. So here I can go in and select the heart chakra. And if I were using my mobile device, I would have a flat surface. So I could set a crystal here or a bracelet and imprint the frequency into it, or maybe my water and I could drink it because water does hold memory. Or I can just broadcast it to myself for two minutes. Or I can do a continuous broadcast. That one will play until you tell it to stop. Or I can add this to a playlist, which I showed you guys in a different video. But really quick, here's playlist. I actually have a chakra playlist here with all the chakras. Each one plays for about eight minutes and then three different grounding tracks. So sometimes I'll just start this playlist, continuous broadcast, and let it play to balance all my chakras and grounding. It's so relaxing, it's so nice. And I actually did a chakra scan after doing this playlist one time. And after it, everything here was green, everything here was green, the whole thing green. I wish I had taken a screenshot of it, but I didn't. I might actually have it in my email, but I don't remember what day it's from. So maybe I will try finding that and make another video specifically on how to balance your chakras using the AO scan. And here is just a little description of on a physical level, how energetic imbalances in the chakras can affect us physically. Next we have the meridians, which are energy channels. So if something was green and went out of balance in the scan, it's nothing to be concerned about. That's temporary, energy is always shifting. And sometimes the energy will shift temporarily. So if maybe there's more energy than needed over here, it will go somewhere else where it's needed and balance itself back out later. So mostly everything went back to green. So that's great. Then you can read here. So if something stayed out of balance, so for example, the liver, it went back into balance, but it was out of balance at first. So let's see that one for example. So the liver meridian, the physical links, entire metabolism, leg veins, lower abdomen, especially ovaries and uterus, cramps, numbness, painful tendons, emotional links, anger, grief, sorrow, taking offense, unhappy, feeling unlucky. So it's all really interesting stuff. So let's take a look at digestive function. I do have two here that stayed red, pepsin and colon absorption, inflammation, homocysteine. So here you can read more about what that could mean that that's showing up. And again, is only concerning if it keeps showing up. Insulin resistance looks pretty good. One thing was out and came back in balance. Pancreas looks pretty good, same thing. Pancreas again, a lot were out of balance and came to green. Amino acids, same thing, a lot were out, went to green. Digestive acids, a lot of them were out, went to green and this one stayed red. Macro minerals looks good. Micro minerals looks like copper stayed out. Vitamins all look good. So then you have hydration, bone and muscle condition, bone growth index, bone mineral density, brain nerve. A lot of those were out of balance and went right to green. I love seeing when all of them just go back to green. So think about if you had this technology 
and you were able to do this on a daily basis every morning just do your scan get your optimizing frequencies and over time those optimizing frequencies are shifting things so even if they shift it temporarily and it goes back over time it's encouraging the energy to remain in its natural state of balance so here's the cardiovascular there's a lot of things there and again you don't be concerned if you see something one time on a scan because some of the stuff can be kind of scary parathyroid eye health hormones immune system so lymphatic vessels stayed out of balance kidney function liver and gallbladder two things here uh, body reproductive skin index skin collagen stayed out i do have this living silica plant-based collagen booster that was recommended by medical medium so i will drink some of that right after this because even though something staying red on one scan doesn't mean that that thing is a ongoing physical issue that you have it's still information that you can do something about then if you want to next is toxicities this is allergy and pollen so tree pecan tree stayed out of balance bacterial diseases a few things were out came back to green and actually this is looking pretty good compared to when i was first doing scans when i got this technology a lot more was red and a lot more stayed red sometimes when things are staying red on your scan it can be an energetic memory of something that you had physically before or that you absorbed from someone else so doing these scans consistently over time can help clear some of that stuff so i do see three things in the fungus that stayed so candida and these two things which i'll have to read more about what they are so when you see things like this you can go back to some of your previous scans to kind of see if they've shown up before but for this i might look at the homeopathics to see if there's an energetic frequency detox i can do here and also physical detox to help some of these toxins as well which i am actually planning to do a detox soon so here human toxins the only thing that stayed red is pesticide toxicity so there are detox frequencies for that type of thing as well so heavy metals everything balanced back out to green so that's great molds one mold stayed red long description there parasites several parasites stayed red and i have had that on previous scans as well and i have been saying that i want to do a physical parasite cleanse of some sort there are several that are staying red here so there is a frequency parasite cleanse in the cepi program let me show you guys that really quick in the cepi program i would go to energy homeo energetics and then here's the pesticide detox that i would want to do because that showed up and then here i believe it's the verma plus detox that you would do for parasite so you can either make a playlist with a couple of things that you want to have on your frequency playlist for that day based on what you saw in your report or you can just do one thing at a time you can imprint it into your water which you would just set on top of your mobile device and imprint you can broadcast it to yourself for two minutes or a continuous broadcast so i have heard that 20 minutes is good for the detox frequencies that's about all you would need in one and the last thing on the vitals report is viruses which some of them were red and balanced out to green 
which again is great. But if I wanted to add virus detox to a playlist because some of them were red and went to green, I can choose to do that. If you're interested in experiencing the AO scan before deciding if it's a technology that you want to purchase or not, I do offer services. I will leave a link to my website below. The service I would recommend for first time customers is the intro to Solex AO scan and emotion code. It's only $35. So for this service, it is a long distance service. So wherever you live, I will call you at the time of the appointment and you get a inner voice scan and report. I do have another video about the inner voice, which I'll leave linked below, but that does read your emotions from your 10 second voice clip. And then you will also get the report of what emotions are out of balance and four audio tracks for you to listen to with headphones to help balance those emotions, which consists of binaural beats and frequencies specific to your emotional needs to help you get back to a state of balance. You get the full vital scan and optimization and report emailed to you. So everything that you saw in this video, you'll get to see and get the benefits from. A partial comprehensive scan, which you may have seen in a previous video, but I do plan to do a video specifically on the comprehensive scan and five trapped emotions cleared using the emotion code just to kind of introduce you to that and show you what that's all about and 10 to 15 cephi frequencies broadcast to you after the call so these you and i would decide together what frequencies are best to send to you based on your report or maybe some symptoms that you're having or goals you have we could decide that together. So after the call, I broadcast them directly to you. So the goal of that service is just to give you an introductory to everything. And I do offer other services if this is something that you'd want to do on a consistent basis. However, my recommendation would be to click the Shop Solex Now link and look into investing in this technology for yourself so that you can have this in your own hands to use on yourself and others whenever you want, however you want, and not have to pay for services over and over. So you have your choice of the mobile device or the tablet, which the mobile device is around $500 and the tablet is around 1000 So these devices are made specifically to block EMF, which could potentially interfere with the frequencies of the program. However, you can and I do also use my phone and my laptop to run these scans as well, but I more often use the mobile device. So you would choose one of these and then also the membership is $149 per month to use the service. To me, it's the best money I've ever spent. I use it every single day. I'm so excited about it and I just want to share it with everyone. And if it's something you try and you love, there is also a business opportunity where you can earn commission on sharing this device with others as well, which could potentially make your monthly membership free. So that's something I can talk about in another video, or you can feel free to ask me questions about that as well. Anything I didn't cover in this video that you do have questions about, please feel free to reach out to me either in this video by email or you can book a phone consultation with me where I will give you a call at the scheduled time to answer any of your questions that you might have. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you.